pair of basketball games in Minnesota and lost to Wyzetta and Hopkins. Those are the only losses on the Majette's record. Last week, might have won the West Region, but lost All-State guard Maggie Fricky to a knee injury today. They started the state tournament with a matchup against West Fargo Cheyenne. Second half of this game now, Mustangs are trailing in this game by 18, but a pretty slick move here by Evie Seavald as she hits that step back jumper, trying to get Cheyenne going, but the Majettes continue to build on that lead. Nice pass to Lily Bell. All she did today was another ho-hum, 38 points and 12 rebounds. Majettes again, this time it's Bell kicking it out to Karu uh, La Lamore. She hits from deep. Minot would run away with this one as Kinley Barch hits a three. She had a double-double as well, 17 and 10, as Minot wins it by the final of 84 to 45. Horace is the two seed from the east. Bismarck High is the three from the west. And BHS came out firing in the second half. Paige Brewer hitting a long two-pointer. Her team leads by 14. She had 24 today. This is where Horace did the damage, though, inside. It's Jaden Haley uh, getting that layup to go. And then, once again, the Hawks will go right back to uh, Haley. She's an all-state caliber player, highly recruited by some Division I schools. She had 20 points in this one. But BHS was much better outside than she was inside. 29 points, 10 rebounds for Jersey Berg as Bismarck wins it 69 to 56. The other game just finished up. That's Red River taking care of St. Mary's 66 to 31, while Legacy and Davies will play the late game on the girls' side. Well, the boys' double-A tournament started about an hour later than the girls, and it began with the West Region champion opening against the four seed from the East. And just like the girls, Minot is the number one seed from the WDA. But unlike the girls, the Magician's opponent today is a little different. That is the Packers from West Fargo. Packers trying to recover from a big deficit in the second half, hitting some threes. It's Aiden Samick uh, getting that one, but they're still down. He had a team-high 16. Minot always seems to have an answer, and here it's Logan Conklin bullies his way to the basket. He had a 17-point uh, day for Minot High. Packers, though, not backing down, hitting a turnaround jumper right here is Keaton McGregor. It goes high off the glass and falls through, but Minot's lead was really big as Peyton Shell had a big second half, gets it over to Grayson Schaefer. Schaefer had a double-double, 20 points, 10 rebounds as Minot scores 86 and wins it 86-61. to 61. The defending boys champion is Fargo North, Century's first round opponent. And Jeremiah Sim is a just terrific athlete for the Spartans, but he was denied the first time. It pops back out to him, and he hits a three-pointer instead of the two he first went for. Here's the Spartans again as Carson Hannestad would hit a three off the assist. As it was a really big first half for uh, the, uh, the North Spartans. Uh, Carter Zeller hits uh, Jeremiah Sem there. Century was down 19 at the half, but here's Isaiah Schaefer hitting a three here. Century clawed their way back in it, made it a game. The final here, though, was a five-point contest, 70 to 65. Legacy and the EDC champion Fargo Davies. That game just getting underway over at the event center while the Demons take on the Mustangs from Cheyenne in the uh, late game. Well, well, there we have you up to date on the first round game. So let's go live to the Bismarck Event Center. JT Faribo adds some perspective on the double A so far. JT. That's right, LT. Like you said, I am at the Event Center. It has been a jammed packed day of basketball. And guess what? We're nowhere near finished. The number one teams from the West are Minot, and they had convincing wins in their first games of the day. The number one teams from the East, that's Red River on the girls' side. They just took care of business against St. Mary's. Behind me right now, Fargo Davies is taking on Legacy, and I believe, I can't see the scoreboard, but I believe Fargo Davies is winning this one. We'll have all the coverage for you tonight at 10. I hope y'all are having a good day. I'll send it back to you, LT.